Hello, sir. Good evening, Ricardo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm glad to see you so early. Ah, sí, yes, thank you. But it's in the just time because it's in this moment it's uh, eight, eight uh, o'clock. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Okay. Hey, so what what do you do on your on on your free time now that you know we um, we we are within this coronavirus situation? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, doesn't problem in this moment because this is uh, in my job is um, the, the we having uh, we having problem about that. You don't have any issues with that. What? You said that you don't have any issues with that. No, no. He says, uh, no, no, no. We we have not uh, any any case about that. You haven't had any cases regarding that. Okay, all right, I see that. All right, hey, uh, but good job, man, good job. Uh, let me let me send a message to everybody else. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, how is your wife? How are, how are your kids? How's your family? Is are they okay? Okay, all all, all uh, okay. <laughs> They're all good. Very good. <laughs> they haven't. They haven't. They haven't gotten sick. No, no. no they haven't. We haven't. We haven't sick uh, in my family. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, that's good. That's that's very good. All right. Uh, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. How are you doing? Hey, you are an engineer. What? I'm sorry. What? Me? Or oh, Brenda? Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. No? Your, uh, the microphone is. Uh, to, yeah, to... your microphone. I'm sorry. There we go. So, w what do you do for a living, Brenda? I work for Tio. Oh yeah, yeah, you work at. I am marketeer. Marketeer. You're a marketeer. What do you mean a marketeer? What oh, is that? how do you say mercadóloga? Mercadóloga. Uh, I have no idea to be honest. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Um, I will find out, okay? Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what a mercadóloga. Okay. Like, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know how to pronounce this Spanish. I don't know what what. What, what, like, I'm not really sure what the position okay. is about, you know? So let's see. Okay. Uh, good, okay, you're teaching me something new today. I don't know, I mean, marketing is, you know, marketing, like, uh, maybe you're a marketing, I have no idea how to say that marketing is something. All right, we'll find out eventually. Um, okay. Because that's, I have no idea, I'm sorry. Hi, uh, welcome, uh, Elena, how are you? How was your day? How's everything at home? We're good? Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Sorry, good evening, good evening everybody. Good evening. Yeah, it was a nice day. Very, very right. nice. A lot right. of work, but it's very nice. So I'm, I'm great. Good. All right, good to hear that. Good to hear that. Uh, Osiris, Luis, Arturo, all good? Hello, good evening. Hello. Good evening, guys. All right. Thank you for being here, guys. I uh, have no idea why people are coming in late nowadays. But let's get started, guys. All right. Okay, guys. So did we finish the exercise 4.4 uh, 4, 4. 4 yesterday? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Luis Pizano. Hey, guys. What was your homework? What was your homework, guys? I'm sorry, I I didn't join yesterday because I'm sick right now. Oh yeah, yeah, but you told me, okay, all right. All right, guys, let's finish it. Guys, let's finish it right now. You have to, you have to finish the platform. Who said? Who said not yet, guys? Who hasn't finished the exercise 4.4? Me, teacher. Brenda. Okay, Brenda, and who else? Me, teacher. Osiris. Ricardo. Okay. 
Uh, I will finish tonight. Have you finished everything else? Have you finished the midterm and everything else? Yes, only this. Yeah. Okay. I don't finish it. All right, but why not? The uh, why not? I, I want to know. I'm asking you guys because I want to know if you understood, if you didn't finish it because you didn't understand, or because you just didn't have time, or what happened. Today I don't have enough time to do this homework. Sorry, teacher. Okay, right. Okay. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, let's 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 get started, right? So uh, let's see. Uh, all right, Elena, give me the first one. What is the first one? Working. What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. While yeah, divers, uh, thank you. <laughs> While divers um, was working up the coast of Florida, they discovered that ship work containing gold worth $2 million. All right, now let me ask you something. Okay, so I didn't understand you so well, Elena. Maybe I needed to speak up a little bit, okay? So... Wild divers uh, was working. Where? We're working. We're working. Sorry, we're working. All right. So what is the answer? We're working, just like this. We're, we're working. working. We're right, working. Beautiful. All right. We're uh, working. Number two. Who wants to help me with number two? And me. All right. Let's go, Luis. They discovered a shipwreck containing gold worth two millions. Okay, discovered. They discover the okay, cage just simple past right all yes. right uh next one uh who wants to help me with the next one okay teacher jorge luis oh. jorge uh jorge okay jorge, jorge. luis <laughs> go ahead happy all right let's go let's go thank you all right let's go the drivers will filming a show about the lo coral reef when they found the gold. All right, the divers, okay? Everybody, the divers. 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 Uh, divers. 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 Teacher, going? what is the meaning of divers? All right, diver, guys, is a person who likes to do scuba diving. Like when you go underwater, when you go underwater to see, uh, yeah, like, have you seen those people with, with, um, with the snorkel, with breathing gear so they can, Breathe underwater, so that's those are divers. Okay, got it. Yep. Got it. Yes, All right. Osteros. <laughs> no, uh, no Spanish, no Spanish. Okay, but that's that's called buzos, guys. Okay. All right, beautiful. Uh, as a woman, as a woman, who wants to give me this one? Me, teacher. Let's go, Ricardo. Okay, as a woman was walking here. Walking her pets pull down the streets. Now, okay. As a woman was yes. walking her pet pull yes, down the walking. street. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so this is a whole story, right? Guys, everybody, let me show you something real quick, guys. Okay. All right. Guys, the pronunciation of that L, okay, it's it's a it's a dark L. Walk, okay. Everybody say walk. Walk. Talk. walk. walk. I right, talk. I talk. All right. So this is basically. All right. Let me. This is so you can have an idea of the pronunciation. Okay. All right. This is the tongue. All right. Hold on. Uh, we have to do it like this. And the tongue goes here. Then we have another teeth. We got something here. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the this is the tongue. Okay. All right. I forgot to do something else here because you got you got this thing here. All right. Anyways. So guys, these are these are teeth. Okay. These are teeth. These are your lips. Okay. When you're saying that, guys. Okay. The L sound. Okay. This is your tongue. Okay. This is your tongue. Okay. Tongue. This is your tongue. Okay. All right. So now. You do not touch, I right, take a look at this part over here, okay, the reach of your mouth, okay? 
you do not dodge it. When you say the L in Spanish, you dodge it, okay? So that, that means that your, your tongue touches this part. But in English, guys, we have something called the, the dark L, okay? You do not touch it. You say, oh, all right? Everybody talk. Okay? All right? So, so that's, that's where that consonant sound comes from, okay? Anyways, guys, just so you can have an idea. All right, beautiful. So, all right. So let's see, a hairstylist. A hairstylist what? So this is a story. Continue the story. Uh-huh. Not the same. Teacher, Tell me. Uh, I can see the screen. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. There we go. You should be able to see the screen. Guys, if you have, do my favor. If you have, if you have the TV turned on, uh, I would prefer it for you to turn it off. But if you can, do my favor and mute yourself, please. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right, now, uh, a hairstylist, okay, so who can give me this one? Now, pronunciation, guys, pronunciation, okay? All right, this is not notice. No, okay, the, the O sound, ha guys, has different sounds, okay? This is not, this is not like, oh, this is all, oh, okay? Oh, all right, all right, this is, a, this is like, this, the sound that you're making, no, okay, that's a doctor sound, okay? This is not a doctor sound, this is... The O sound, like, oh, no. When you say, oh, no, everybody, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, All right. no. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right? Notice. Repeat, notice. Oh, notice. 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 Okay, notice, right? Don't say notice. Notice, right? So a, a hairstylist noticed. All right. Good job. Uh, noticed. And uh, let's see. Luis, pick, pick someone. Uh... Victor Alvarez. Vic, 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 what? Victor. <laughs> Victor. Okay, let's go, Victor. Uh, later, while he was creating a new uh -huh. line of hair care, of hair care products for dogs and cats. Okay, later, while he was creating. Okay, I'm sorry. Creating. I screwed this up. Creating. Okay, a new line of hair care products for dogs and cats. Okay, he, Jessica? Uh, he come up with a yeah. new slogan. He come up? Are you sure? He came up. Came he up. came up, okay. He oh. came up with a new slogan, okay. Beautiful, guys. Is it just came up or came up with, according to your answer? Nah, it's correct, okay. Now, do you know the meaning of came up with, guys? Come up with? Do you know what that means? Yes, no? It's like right, a make. Getting an idea. <clears throat> okay, yeah, okay. It's like bringing up an idea, right? So that's called a freestyle verb. Good job, guys. Plus for you. Beautiful. Okay, all right, guys. If we finish on time, we are going to have some tongue twisters today, okay? All right, do you like tongue twisters? <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. talk to you, sirs, okay? No. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, uh, I'm going to give you a tip, guys, if you want to learn pronunciation, because uh, we have, I don't know if you knew this, guys, we have 24, 24, okay? We have 24 consonant sounds, okay? And vowel sounds, guys. In Spanish, we have I, I, O, and that's it, right? In English, guys, we have tense vowels, and you have lax vowels, okay? All right, so within here, guys, within here, you have, I think it's around, it's around five uh, tense vowels and another, another five over here. I think it's, it's a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken, you have to see that. But you have, you have a lot of vowels in English, not only I, O, all right? Got it? So that's why, guys, that's why you see Sofia Vergara. Sofia Vergara speaks like this, right? Like, okay, because she has, she doesn't pronounce those other vowel sounds. So if you want to study, guys, if you want to learn how to pronounce them, okay, I can't take you to the, I, I can't take you to the website here, but you could, you could Google it, you know, just Google the word, um, and just, just like, just, just go to translate Google Translate, and it'll give you, all right, it'll give you the pronunciation. 
So you can read the pronunciation. This is like for any language that you're trying to speak, all right? So the sounds, guys, are not I-O, okay? All right? You have you have sounds like, uh, right? Like sounds that come like from here and sounds that are like very, uh, like like they come, they come like from your throat here, all right? So uh, just practice those sounds, guys, because um, if you wanna if you wanna learn, you know how to speak well, you have to know that we have more vowels than than the five that you know in Spanish. Okay. All right, beautiful guys. So next exercise, guys, we're gonna watch this video and then we're gonna answer these questions. Okay. So everybody, do me a favor, show me your notebooks. All right, and turn the cameras on, guys, if you have them off. All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to let you, I'm going to, well, actually, you know what? Pull up the exercise, guys. Everybody go to exercise 4.6. Okay, just pull it up there. You have the questions there, all right? So you can um, you can be answering them as you listen to the questions, okay? All right, let's go. Oh, I have to share my sound. Hold on. There we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this Oh, hold on. Sounds coming out from a different place. Hi everyone. Okay, guys, here. At the end of this class, you'll develop skills in listening yep. for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. David, you are on mute. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, let's go through the questions. Uh, so where did the first story happen? In Thailand. In Thailand. Right. Thailand, okay. Th 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 Thailand, right? Not Thailand. Right? Thailand. Thailand. All right, good job. In Thailand, right? What happened on the first story? Now, hold on, let me pick someone, all right? Let's see. Uh, Jose Armando Guevara, what happened on the first story? I Jose. didn't. I didn't watch it. <laughs> Why not? What happened? Um, I still working. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, but I, that's why I didn't put attention. Okay, I didn't pay attention. Not put. Pay okay, attention. pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> all okay, right, thank all right. you. Uh, Francis oh, well, Francisco is working, all right? Uh, Jessica, you look like you want to participate. <laughs> all right, let's go, Jessica. The answer or a participant? Uh, what happened on the first story, the answer? Okay, a man was almost strangled by, to death by a snake. Okay, all right, guys, be careful. Good job, good job, Jessica. All right. 
Uh, guys, be careful with a snake, okay? It's not Sofia Vergara, remember. How do you pronounce this, guys? No, snake. I no. remember, 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 no. remember the guy from, from the boss, right? Right? Snake, snake right? Snake, okay? Snake. Snake. All right, if you have troubles, if you, if you have issues with that, guys, try to do it like this. Say snake, and then snake, see? Snake. Right. All right, that, that would be uh, easier for you to learn it that way, okay? All right, beautiful. So we, where did the second story happen? Uh, Jorge Luis. The third uh, his story is in, in Australia. The second story, okay? The second story in Australia, okay? All right, beautiful. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, stay in class uh victor victor okay victor number four victor two teenage girls who disappeared were found all right and number five ronnie uh in hollywood california in hollywood california okay all right uh who'd like to give me the last one me teacher all right let's go and two police officers were rescued for a thief. They were crashing. Okay, repeat, guys. Two, no, it's not two, it's two. Two, two, two police two. officers. Two police officers. Were rescued. Were, were rescued. Were rescued. By the thief. By, by, the, the, by the thief. They were chasing. <laughs> They were chasing. All right, beautiful. Okay, two thieves. I mean, two police officers were rescued by the thief. They were chasing. All right, good job, guys. So let's submit these answers. Beautiful job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, guys, notice something. Okay. All right. So we're talking about news here. Okay. All right. Now, now I want you. So this is this is what the topic is going to be about. Okay. So. Uh, so notice, guys, that when you're reporting something, right, you talk like this. When you when you watch the news, guys, when you watch the news or you you read the newspapers, you you found stories like this. You say like a man was almost strangled by death by a snake, all right. But when you tell this to another person, guys, you don't say it like that, okay? You will say, you know, hey, dude, you know what? A snake almost strangled a man. So that's how you would say it. Yes or not, guys? All right. It's yes. like when you when you read El Diario de Hoy, right? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, encuentran a niño perdido, right? Like something like that, okay? All right. You don't talk like that to your friends, okay? All right. You don't say uh, a, a boy was found by the police, right? You don't talk like that unless you work you work for um for you know for a newspaper, mm -hmm. right? A, uh, a boy was found by a police, well, by a police member, well, officers, all right? So you don't talk like that. It's only on the news, okay? So that's uh, the reason why I bring that up, guys, is because I want you to know, well, to understand why we use the next grammar topic, how we use it in real life, okay? So this is a real life scenario. So far, so good? Yes, yes? Yes, yes. All right. Yes. Brenda, I see a little bit confused. Everything good? <laughs> it's everything good. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so can you, Brenda, could you please help me read the objective for today? Yes, by the end of this lesson, you will learn to use the past perfect tense. The past perfect tense, okay. Beautiful. Hey, guys, I mentioned, I mentioned that every time that you have the perfect word, when you have that word perfect in grammar, it means something. What What does it mean? I said it one of these days, guys, this week. I think it was, I said it on Monday, I think. So what does it mean, guys? Remember, guys, when we're, we were checking present perfect? Well, it, well, if you saw present perfect, guys, not okay, but present perfect. So every time that you have the word perfect, guys, is because you're gonna have the auxiliary what has or have, okay? Or, or has, okay? Or have in some cases, okay? So every time that you see present perfect, 
past perfect, future perfect, they all have one of this, okay? This is basically perfect, okay? All right. All right, uh, so let's get started, guys. So today, guys, we're going to see uh, past perfect, okay? All right, so let me check. Ricardo, okay. so whenever I mention, whenever you see the word perfect on a grammar topic, what does it mean? When something uh, happening or, or, or event that occurred before another event in, in time periods in the past, in the past, in the past. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, guys. So, first off, guys. Okay, let's let's talk about let's talk about um, the usage of past perfect. Okay, which is in green. All right. So, Elena, help me read. I was working out, and I put, and I had put my stuff in my locker. No, the, the okay, the part in green. I'm sorry. It's all right. Just the past perfect for an event that occur occurred before another event or time period in the past. Okay, very good. Okay, applause for Lena, guys. Good job. All right, now, guys, repeat. Event. 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 Repeat. Event. 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 Occurred. 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 All right. All right. Occurred. Use the past perfect for an event that occurred. occurred before another event or time period in the past. All right. Now, beautiful guys. Okay. With that being said, okay. Now let's. Uh, first off, let's talk about. Let's talk about the line that you have here. Okay. So remember, guys, this action. Okay. When we talk about uh, past perfect, when did this happen? When can you see that this happened? Before another event. Okay. Did this happen in the past? In the past. Yes. In the past. Let's say Arturo. Okay. Let's say. Let's say Arturo. <laughs> how old are you, Arturo? Thirty. Oh my God! You're thirty. Are you yes. freaking kidding me? You look very young, man. You look like twenty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Always. Always. Oh my God, dude. You, Always okay. told me that. But that's good, man. That's good. That's good, right? Yes. <laughs> I'm I'm 30 and I look like 30, <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> I I look a little bit young. All right, very good, guys. So we got Arturo, Arturo here, which is dancing for some reason. All right, let's. All right, Macarena, right? A song to Cheyenne, right? So he's dancing to Cheyenne, right? Very good. Now, so we got Arturo here, guys. Okay. Um. So he was 18 years old here. Okay. All right now. He's 30 years old, all right? So here is Arturo. All right, let's pretend that he's 30 and that he has a beard now. He grew a beard. All right, so you have a beard, Arturo, okay? All right. <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot, man. It's just an example, okay? All right, so you got Arturo now, guys. He's 30 here, okay? Now, Arturo, guys. Okay, Arturo met his... Are you married? Or... No. All right, all right. Arturo met his girlfriend, all right? I don't know if he has or not, but it doesn't matter. Okay, Arturo met his girlfriend or future wife when he was 18, okay? So this action, guys, did it happen in the present or did it happen in the, in the past? They in the met past. here, okay? In the past. In the past. In the past. Okay. Yes. Now, now, before, guys, okay, before Arturo turned 18, okay, let's say that when he was... When he was 15, okay? Let's say that he was 15 over here, okay? He had 10 other, I'm using my mouse, guys, so I'm sorry if it's not so good, other girlfriends, okay? Okay? So he had 10 other girls, okay? So what can we say, guys, okay? So what, what actually happened first? Meeting his next wife or having 10 Girlfriends. What 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 actually happened first? Having having ten girlfriends. Having ten. Okay. Girlfriends. First off, okay, when he was fifteen, okay. So when he was fifteen, he had ten girlfriends, right? Now when he turned, when he turned eighteen, he met his uh, future wife, okay. Or he met his wife, okay? Let's say this. Let's, he met his wife, okay? All right. But now, 
now that he's 30, okay. He uh, wife. <laughs> okay, he doesn't have a wife anymore. <laughs> All right, now guys. All right, so what I want you what I want you to notice from this, guys, is that this this action right here. Okay. So now this is the present, okay? But every like all the actions that we have here, all right. So all this action, guys, this okay, doesn't matter, okay? All right. So he's gonna talk about action number one or action number two using past perfect. Action number one or two, guys. Number one. Action number one, okay? So that's what we use, guys. So two events that happened in the past, but we're gonna talk about the first event, okay? All right, let's see, guys. Let me do a quick quality check. Uh, let's see. Elena, pick, pick someone, Elena. Victor. Victor, explain to me what I just explained. The, the past perfect we use when we talk about an event that has passed uh, before another event that has passed in past two. <laughs> Okay, before another event, repeat event. Event. In event. the past. Good job, you got In it. Applause for Victor, guys. Victor, pick someone else. Jorge, Luis. Jorge, okay, explain to me. Explain to me what we use past perfect for. I, I use past perfect when I had another event in the past. Is, is, is similar to between two events. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, okay. All right, uh, let's see, one last person, pick someone, pick someone who has not participated so much. Ronnie Caballero. Ronnie, okay, Ronnie, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we use the past perfect when we say a we talk about uh, event in the past before another event in the past too. Okay, okay, Re guys, we're having a lot of issues with this word. <laughs> event, repeat guys, okay. event. 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 All right, put it like this, guys, okay? Right, imagine that it has a, a tilde over here. E and then vent, okay? The stress of the word goes to the E. Event, right? Event. 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 Right. event. All right, beautiful, guys, beautiful. All right, guys, you got it. I like it, guys. I like it, okay? Good job. Can we move on? All right. Yes. Can we move on? Yes, okay. Beautiful. Jessica, help me read the exercises, all of them. I mean, uh, not the exercises, the examples. I was working out, and I had put my stool in my locker. Okay. Continue. Uh, when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. All right. And they were able to steal, steal it because I had forgotten to look the lo locker. To lock of the locker. Okay. All right. Good job. Both for Jessica, guys. Good job, Jessica. All right. Now, guys, repeat, guys. Stuff. Stuff. All right. Stuff. So, all right, uh, stuff, okay, uh, still. 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 All right, now, guys, okay, you have to uh, remember, guys, we were talking about phonetics. Uh, Jessica, this sound, the, 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 letter, the letter U sometimes, okay, it sounds like, it's called a schwa sound, okay? The schwa sound is like what I call the rapper sound. Do you remember the rapper sound? Yeah. All right, what is the rapper sound? Uh. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, every, uh, all right. Stuff. Repeat. Stuff. 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 Okay. So that's how you pronounce it. Okay. Stuff. Right. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, let's break this down. So first off, guys. Okay. Now this is, guys. This is I was working out. What type of tense is this? What type of tense is I was working out? Past continuous. Past continuous. Okay, very good. Okay, so let me let me do it on this side. Okay, so I was working out, guys. Is past continuous. Uh, progress. I'm gonna call it progressive, guys. Just 
to write, okay? So past progressive plus we got past perfect. So in past perfect, guys, we have the subject. What else? The auxiliary had. Okay, the auxiliary had. Now, can I can I have the auxiliary has? No. No. no it only has. 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 only had, guys. Okay, only had. Okay, with past perfect, it's only had. Okay, even if even if it's he, she, it, they, we. Okay, it's only had. Uh, subject plus hat plus what, what, uh, what else? Past participle verb. Okay, oh. verb in past participle. Don't say participle, guys. Okay, repeat, guys. Participle. 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 Right. participle. Plus what else? Participle. Compliment. 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 Plus compliment, okay? Okay, plus compliment. Okay, guys, I like it. I like it so far. Beautiful. Now, on the second example, guys, what 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 tense do you see on the second example? And um, start with um, past simple, simple past. past. Simple, simple. simple past. Okay, so we got very good. So we got simple past plus. Past perfect. All right, so far so good? Actually, it's so past far. perfect. Okay, good job, guys. Okay, good job, good job, good job, right? So if you want to take a screenshot or whatever, and then we, we can move on. All right, guys, so that's why we use it, and that is, um, and that is the, the, the first example, okay? So here in green, guys, you see what I was just explaining. Right? I want to. I went to the party last weekend, which is simple past, and then my friends had all had eaten all the food. Now, what happened first? Okay, let's see if you understood, guys. Okay, let's see if you. you so far, guys, you have done an amazing job at explaining me, um, explaining me the the two tenses. Okay, what we use it for in the in the structure. Now, let me see if you understood, uh, Elena. What happened before? What's on yellow? What's have yellow? Eaten all the food. Very oh, good job. A plus for Elena. All right, <laughs> uh, yes, Elena. I'm sorry. I was still explaining, but thank you very much. All right. My friends had eaten all the food, guys. Okay. So the first action was my friends already, uh, had eaten all the food. The second action is that you, I went to a party. Got it? Got it? Got it? All right. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about the second example? Uh, they were able to steal it because I have forgotten to lock the locker. What, what happened first? And the second he example. Forgot, he forgot uh, to lock the locker. Very good job. Okay. He forgot to lock the locker. Okay. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. He forgot to lock the locker. Okay. All right, guys. Any question? Any question, 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 question? All right. All right, if you don't have any questions, guys, let's move on, okay? All right, guys, so let's take a look at uh, some statements, okay? Sure. Do, me, do me a favor, right? All right, guys, you can call me David or just a teacher, guys, don't say Mr. 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 Yeah, Mister, uh -huh. can you um, uh, share me another link, please? <laughs> another link for, yeah, yeah, after class, you mean, yes, it's absolutely Thank you. Um, yeah. No, I was going to say, guys, Guys, nobody says Mr. In, 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 in the United States, right? You don't have to say Mr. Just say uh, teacher or just sir or whatever else. But don't say Mr. because nobody says it in America. Like, nobody, guys. That's very Latino, actually. Hey, Mr. Right? right. So don't say it. Don't say yeah, it's, Mr. It's, uh, last name. Yeah, people say like Mr. Donald, Mr. Trump, for example, right? Yeah, the they, last... yeah schools. Yeah, they but nobody, no, no, nobody say, no. nobody actually says Mr. Like that, just hey, Mr. All right, that's that's very mm -hmm. Latino. All right, anyways, uh, so let's go back, guys. All right, so now do me a favor, guys. Okay, I want everybody to share one experience that you've had. Okay. So give me an experience with uh, past perfect, guys, okay? An action that you might have been doing. Uh, for example, um, 
I had forgotten my keys in the car, and that's why a thief stole things from inside my car, okay? Or you can say, I have stopped texting my girlfriend, and that's why she left me. <laughs> All right? I stopped uh, buying flowers for my girlfriend, and that's why she left. <laughs> I told her leader, right? No. Okay, so you give me your own example, guys, okay? All right, so let's go. Let's go. Send me your examples, guys, it's in the chat room. All right. My God, it's hot today. I miss the rainy days. All right, guys, send me examples. I'm waiting for them right now in the chat room, okay? Hey, I have, we have more people. What happened if they go? Teacher. I still don't see any examples, guys. What happened? Can you share the screen? with the example yes the example and everything it's 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 uh it's on the whatsapp group uh okay. i think i think um mr jorge luis sent it jorge luis mendoza but yeah i'll, I'll share it again if you want All right, I only see you guys. Well, I see examples now. Okay, so I turned on my laptop before I stated the Zoom class. Okay, Ronnie, that is not, oh. that does not contain yes. past yes. perfect at all. Uh, all right, I was watching TV when the English class had begun. All right, Ricardo, we have to study. Past participles. Begin is not a past participle, Ricardo. All right, but good job. Uh, okay. Me neither. I'm sorry. Begun. No, it's not begin. Begun, okay? Uh, Elena, I was writing a letter and the computer turned off. All right, that's not past perfect, Elena. Uh, I was listening to music. I had seen the hour to the class. Jessica, you do have past perfect there, but I had seen the hour to the class, that that, that that doesn't make sense. Okay, maybe I I have no idea what you're trying to say. I hadn't noticed, maybe I hadn't noticed the time. I was listening to music and that's why, or because of that, I hadn't noticed or I hadn't, uh, yeah, I hadn't noticed what time it was. Like this, Jessica, okay? I was I was listening to music and that's why I hadn't seen I hadn't noticed what time it was. All right, that like give me another example, right? Just give me another example there. All right, uh let's see. Victor, I was ready for a meeting, but I have forgot. I have forgot to send the invitation. Victor, I have. All right, the guys, uh -huh. did you write down? Did you write down the structure? Uh -huh. You need to write down the structure, right? All right, I have, not I have. I okay. have. Yes, I have. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I photo. <laughs> what is I photo series? I was ready to <laughs> Sorry, so <we'll> put... <laughs> I was ready for the meet for a meeting, but I have forgot to send it. Okay, I'm sorry, that's Victor. Brenda, when I came, the class had already had started already. Okay, Brenda, good job. Good job for Brenda, guys. That's it. That's good, Brenda. Good job. Arturo, I had lost my wallet. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it doesn't exist. 
It's unfortunately. When when I found it, my ID were in. Okay, I lost my wallet. It is past perfect, but everything else is incorrect. All right, but that's vocabulary and the sentence structure of simple past. Uh, Jorge, I was studying English class. I was studying English, okay, or I was in my English class. Sentence structure there. When my family have to sleep, okay, that is, all right, the whole structure there, Jorge, I'm sorry, but it is, everything is incorrect there. All right, uh, let's see what else. The battery of my computer was turning off way the light had gone out. When the line has, okay, you misspelled there, but when the light had gone out. You mean when the lights, okay, that should be plural, but good sentence, good, good structure though. Ricardo was watching TV when my English class, class began. Okay, all right guys, good job, good job, good job. Okay, too many errors guys, okay, too many errors for this topic. So we're gonna continue guys, okay? Uh, we're not gonna have time to play tongue twisters because I have to, to give you more examples, right? We had too many errors guys to continue with, um, to say that we're good, okay? Now, it's okay guys, so guys, do me a favor. Did you write down the structure that I gave you? Mr. Ricardo Romero, did you write it down? Yes. Uh, the, 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 the first and the past perfect. Exactly. Okay, guys, okay. you have to write down the structure, right? Okay. Okay, you, guys, so. Uh, yeah. Okay, use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. No, the structure, guys, the structure that, that I gave you. The structure. Ah, yes. Did you write it down? We have to subject plus how. Exactly, guys. Okay, like this right here, for example. I gave this before, right? So now, guys, for for positive statements, guys, this is the this is the structure. I gave you the structure already. Okay, for positive statements. All right. Uh, so now do you have the example there. We're gonna break it down together so to don't uh, emphasize. Got uh, 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 all right. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay, so this is an example, guys. This is the same example that I gave. Okay, positive statement, right? So subject plus had plus past participle plus complement. Okay, it's the example that I gave at the beginning. Okay. All right, guys. Do you have a question regarding this, guys? Because because uh, it's what I explained at the beginning. Do you have a question? Is it all clear? There were too many mistakes, guys. I, I suppose you have questions, so let them out, all right? Bring them out. If you have mistakes, guys, it's because you have questions. I was trying to I think, I think do it a because I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, okay, one at a time, one at a time. Me, uh, I was trying to do a sentence, but it, it was really difficult. I, I don't have, I don't, know how to use it and uh, that happened to me okay all right okay all right if you want to know how to use it follow the structure here now if you follow the structure can you can you give an example uh, uh, i have let's let's all right let's stop using i let's use another subject right she have uh-huh I don't have, I don't know. Uh -huh. And the past possible. Mm, mm, eating. Uh huh. Mm, uh, she had eaten my pizza or the pizza, I don't know. Uh huh. Uh, okay, very eat. good, very good. Okay, so this is past perfect. Good job. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Now, Remember, guys, the thing is that past perfect, what do we use it for? I'm sorry, who was speaking right now? I didn't know who was speaking, guys. Luis, Luis so what do we use past perfect for? To, we, we use it when we was to talk about uh, an event occurred before another event in the past. Exactly, right? So, so far, man, you're good, okay? Don't worry, you're good. You understood this part, okay? All right? So now, give me the event that happened after you had eaten pizza. 
or I, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, after, yeah, after you had eaten pizza. Uh, check. All right, let me let me help you with this, guys. Give a time reference, okay? This is usually you can say before. She had eaten pizza before and simple past. Now give me simple past. Give me simple oh. past. I'm sorry. Before she. She, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to connect it with another sentence. All right, simple past. Simple past. Before I came. Now, guy, right, let him, let him, let him work it out, guys. Okay, let let this work it out. All right, Luis. Yeah. Simple past. Before, before I went to the party. Before I went to the party. Okay. All right, man. Now, guys. Uh, try not to think so much about about the structure, okay, guys. Eso quiere decir ella se había comido la pizza antes de que yo fuera a la fiesta. All right. Cuando vos decís eso en español, guys, no lo pensás nunca, right? And you're talking in past perfect, right? So it is the same freaking thing, right? So uh, give me another example faster, Luis. Let's go. She had. A what real life guess? example. See, a real life example. Go. Something that happened to you before something else happened. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to try to do it faster. And she uh -huh. had watched the television. Uh huh. She had before. watched the TV. Now, guys, everybody else, send me an example right now, guys. Again, right? Uh huh. She had, she had watched the TV. Before I start to play video games. Before I started, I started to play playing video games. video games. Beautiful, man. All right. Give me another one. Another real life situation. Go. Uh, Something that really happened to you, man. <laughs> uh, like, I you, know. You, you I'm can, nervous. Dude, dude, you can say, all right, it's okay. It's okay. For this, it's on the spot. But okay, like, so you can feel pressure and you can, you can answer, okay? Good job, man. All right, plus Luis, guys. Good job. All right, all right, all right, guys. ¿Cómo dirías descubrí que 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 mi novio me estaba dando baja antes de dejarla? How do you say that? Sí, eso es una una situación real, guys. In past perfect, okay. Había descubierto que mi novio me estaba dando baja antes antes de que yo la dejara. So how do you say that? I have found. I had found uh -huh. out that my girlfriend was cheating uh -huh. on me before uh -huh. I, I her. dumped her, okay? All right, got it, guys? Okay, so that's a real-life situation, right? Okay, so now let me check your examples. Luis, send me examples and let me see. All right, let's see. Jose Armando, I was watching a movie when it started at Thunderstorm and I had to turn off the TV, I had to turn off TV, I meant watching. Now, Jose, it, the structure is good, but you have other grammar mistakes, okay? I was watching a movie when it, you're missing the subject, when it started raining, all right? Or when, uh, when the thunderstorm started, right? You have to change that. And I had to turn off my TV. Now, I had to turn off the TV is incorrect, guys, okay? But, but, but good mistake, Jose, because now you will allow me to explain it to everybody else, okay? Guys, if I say, I had to turn off the TV, what tense is this, guys? Is that past perfect? Hold, hold on. No, nobody answered. Jose, Jose Armando? Are you still working? Yes, here. I, I think <laughs> he's working, right? Jose Armando, yeah. is, is this past perfect? Past perfect. Mm. <laughs> no, I think uh, that you're working. No, right? I think just working. simple past. Okay, all right. Very good, guys. I had to turn off the TV. This is simple past. This is not past perfect. Jessica, why is this not past perfect? What is the question? Why is it not past perfect? It's inverse. Because what? Is inverse the order? Ah, lo, lo rompieron. 
No. Uh, no. What tense is this? What tense is this, Jessica? Um, um, uh, I had to use ha ha. Okay, you, okay, ha ha. Okay, very good. All right, Jessica, what what grammar tense is this? Simple. <laughs> this is simple. Okay, this is simple past, guys. Okay, it's not. Take a look at the take a look at the structure. Is this the same structure? No. No, guys, it's not. Okay, subject plus had plus verb in past participle. Is this a verb in past participle? No. No, guys. Okay. All right. I had. This is simple past, guys. Okay. All right. Got it? So this actually this actually says yo tuve, all right? And this guy says había, right? Got it? It's different, guys. Okay, a total is one is an auxiliary and the other one is a verb. This is an auxiliary, okay? All right, and this one is a verb, okay? All right, so that is the difference between them two. All right. All right, so I see some confusing faces here, but let's see if you improved. Elena, the sound of my computer had broken. Before I started to work. Okay, um, if the structure is perfect, Elena, but you don't say the sound of my computer had broken. My computer sound stopped working, or my computer, uh, or or the sound just stopped. Okay, um, but the the structure is good, right? It's just the verb. Uh, don't use the sound of my computer had broken. All right, but everything else is good. Uh, Jessica, a kid had called by WhatsApp to my phone when his father was in a meeting okay now good job jessica uh good structure for past perfect preposition is not bias on a kid had called on whatsapp to my phone when my father was in a meeting okay but everything else is good just the preposition uh jose armando thanks <laughs> jessica i was visiting a museum when someone had lost a dog outside. Okay. Now, Jessica, your structure is good. Tu estructura está muy buena. The thing is that uh, the, the idea doesn't, doesn't make that much sense. Estaba visitando un museo cuando alguien había perdido un perro afuera. When somebody... All right. I, I, I mean, the structure is good. I just don't understand that. But it, the structure is good. Uh, Brenda, I had a ride home when my mom called me. Beautiful, Brenda. Elena, Juanita had chosen a yellow card. Buy, buy she had. I know that you try to say but. But she has to buy a black one. Good job. That's perfect. Uh, Jorge, she had cooked a lot of food before she came up of work. Before she came from work. Jorge, but Jorge, good structure. Uh, Jorge had turned on the microphone when he sang with Cheyenne. <laughs> Beautiful. I had to bought. I have. I had to bought. I had to buy, guys. Nunca uses un infinitivo con con algo que no sea base form. You have to say I had to buy. No, I had to bought. That doesn't exist. I had to buy lunch before I forgot to go home. Y esto series no es past perfect. Me está diciendo simple past. Oh, series, are you there? Oh, serious? Okay. Now, yes, yes, guys, yes. if you say, guys, I had. So when you say, I had to, is this is this past perfect or past or simple past? Oh, serious? Simple past. Sorry. Okay. All right. So all right. Don't worry. So what are we missing there? ¿Qué está mal ahí? ¿Cómo sería correcto? I had had. Okay, all right. No, 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 no. I tell you, all right. uh, you, you're guessing. Okay, give me another another verb. <laughs> I had had this. No um, Don't say that, huh? <laughs> I. ¿Cómo es? Había comprado. I don't know. Um, don't help her. Don't let you in. Uh huh? Mm, I don't know. All right, como dice, había hablado. I was. All right, all right, let's study, all right, series. 
Ah, uh -uh. right, Osiris, I don't know if you're, are you seeing the screen? Or estás ocupada? Yes. No, All right. I see. All right. This is the, this is, this is, follow the structure, okay? Maybe you got, mm -hmm. you got nervous, I don't know. Follow the structure. So according to the structure, what is it? Give me an example. I have. Don't guess. Just give me an example. Uh-huh. Follow the structure. What comes mm -hmm. after hand? Past participle. Mm -hmm. mm. Bye. Bye. Is this past participle? No. Bye. No. Bye. Is this past? Okay, you're guessing now. All right. Do you know what yes. a past participle is, Osiris? <laughs> no, teacher. I'm blocked. Okay. I'm. I'm. All right. All right. Uh, mañana, you, guys, si no sabes que es un past participle, no vas a entender ningún perfect tense, ¿ok? All right, tenés que saber, tenés que memorizarte todos los past participles, ¿ok? So, Siris, do me a favor, para mañana, you need to know what a past participle is. Lo primero que voy a preguntar, guys, ¿qué es un past participle, ok? Yes. All right, the past participle is the third form of a verb, ¿ok? All right, so, Siris, good job, Siris. Okay. All right, I'm sorry, what? The verb was cane. She, she said, I have bought. No, she said, I have buy. No, but yeah, but in the she write, she wrote, <laughs> she wrote to no, buy. She said, I have to, to buy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Just without to. Yeah, I mean, this would have been okay. Yes, I have bought. No, but again, that, that would have been wrong, guys, because she said, I have bought lunch. Well, I had bought lunch, okay, and this this would, would have been okay, right? But this is wrong. She said, I had to bought. All right, guys, nunca podemos usar un infinitivo con, con, con algo que sea pasado, okay? Nunca, never, ever, ever, right? All right, guys, but thank you, serious, okay? Don't worry, guys. All right, uh, it's a complex topic, okay? But tomorrow we're going to see a little bit more. Thank you, guys, for joining, all right? Mañana si te damos uh, con twisters, si terminamos esto tiempo, okay? All right. Quien me pida extra ejercicios, guys, yo con gusto se lo mando. Ya me dijo Elena. So I'm going to uh, send her the examples, okay? All right, thank you, guys. I have another class. You right know, Mike. Okay. Thank you I so hope. much. <laughs> All right. Bye. Just send, send me a reminder. Send me, send me a reminder, Elena. <laughs> Goodbye, Beatriz. Guys. I'm Beatriz. Bye.